and welcome to a bonus issue of Nerd Flow. We are here to talk about some uh, some important news. Uh, but real quick, though, man, um, this is kind of some stuff we want to start doing with Nerd Flow. We're like giving you guys bonus content, like extra stuff, like stuff that just can't wait till till next Monday. And this is kind of one of those situations. So, yeah. So we got Tink and we got Young here. Uh, everybody else, you know, real life, you know, real life responsibilities can jump on. But we got the core crew here. So, uh, Tink, why are we here? Oh, where shall I start? <laughs> so, our boy, Childish Gambino, a.k.a. Mr. Donna Glover, posted up the Deadpool script that he had written himself and was going to actually voice Deadpool. And... <laughs> Being childish, can be, you know, you know, you got to throw a little pettiness in. He's like, by the way, I wasn't too busy not to do Deadpool. He, he had to just throw that in there in the mix so people could actually get a feel for what's going on. And what's going on is that they stopping my boy from getting his moo out. That's what's going on. Like. They not doing Deadpool, the animated series that they were going to do. And so he threw out the script. So everybody has a chance to go on the earth flow because we got it up. We got it up for everybody to read. And um, it's on our page, on our Facebook page. But the script was really good, y'all. It was hilarious. And it... It really gives a feeling of what Deadpool's personality is about. It's comical, relatable, and it's something Deadpool would do and say to me. Well, did you guys get a chance to see the script? Yeah, I was kind of like, I was glad. And I actually saw it yesterday when I heard the news about it. Like, mm, I think it was either the same day or the day before that about FX not going forward with it. And then I followed Shadows Game being on Twitter. So I'm just scrolling down my timeline. I'm like, is this hold on? Is this a script? And so I'm reading it, and I'm like, "This boy leaked the Deadpool script for the animated show." <laughs> and um, and so then this other stuff comes out as well. And so I read a little bit more into it because I just thought, you know, with the whole merging thing like that, it's like, oh, okay. Because I heard in the same breath that you know, Dark Phoenix and New Muse got pushed back to 2019. Because they said with new music, they got to reshoot like half of the movie, and the, the, most of the cast not gonna be available to August to reshoot everything. So I thought that was just kind of like part of the whole Fox Disney merger thing. I'm like, okay, so they probably just ain't going with FX as a platform to do it on. Maybe they're gonna do it on like you know the Disney streaming app or whatever the hell is gonna be called next year. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like. So kind of like the gist of it was from what I read was is that Marvel they couldn't come to an agreement on the script and everything as far as the feel of what he wrote versus what they wanted. So let me ask y'all this. Do y'all think this is going to with him having this issue with FX and Marvel, do y'all think this is going to affect uh, another season of Atlanta? No, cause no, because it, no, it was more of a Marvel thing. Because even in the article that I read, uh, I can't really shout out where I got it from, but where I read it from. But uh, they said talks are all. I mean, everything is all good with Atlanta and everything with FX. It was a Marvel call not to do it. It was yeah. Marvel. It so was basically yeah, Marvel. It Marvel TV. In, yeah, I think it affect him being in the Miles Morales Spider Man. Uh, no. no, because I mean, it shouldn't. Go ahead. It's it's a different it's a different like um division. everything's different. Yeah, it's a different division completely. Like this is Deadpool, Marvel, and Spider Man. That's something totally different. So I don't think it's gonna affect because either way, it's about money. <laughs> yeah, as as what I'm saying, at the end of the day, it's about the money. Um. Yeah, nobody really knows exactly what Marvel didn't like. Because I'm like, okay, y'all are kind of sort of doing Deadpool the movie. So, I mean, 
And they already uh-huh. kind of gave like a glimpse of like, hey, they're gonna there's gonna be a Marvel R like division. So it was like this kind of cartoon would kind of fit right into it in a sense of especially. Well, what like if a, they feel like a cartoon won't because of the 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 way Deadpool is won't transition into merchandising. I don't think it's a merchandising thing because. I don't really think his merchandising is the issue because that was Marvel problem in the very beginning when they almost went bankrupt in the early 2000s. It's but at the same time, you got to think about it. A cartoon, kids, I want to go see a cartoon. And with an adult script, you know, they can't merchandise the kids <sighs> with an adult script. Well, I mean, it was FXX. So this in the same realm as Archer. We don't see Archer action figures nowhere. So... I mean, it's yeah. it's, in that, it's, in, it's in that adult swim space, like that's basically what they were. That's basically what they were trying to do because Archer's done so well on FX. So it's like, oh, let's branch off and do another, you know, mature cartoon for adults because it's basically I mean, what it but is. Look, yeah, look at Spawn. I mean, that's how really Spawn got a hey, got a exactly known. Watching it on but that's what HBO, happened. but that's what it got. <laughs> That's what messed up Spawn too. When the movie came out, they didn't use Todd McFarlane's script for the movie because they wanted to merchandise Spawn. And so that's why we got that watered down Spawn in the movie. So, and that's basically what led to Spawn's death. Well, that wasn't a cartoon's fault. Yeah, no, I don't think, no, I don't think that was a cartoon's fault. <laughs> I mean, I don't no, think the. Wasn't. I, no, I don't think the. I don't even think the movie, the Spawn movie, was watered down. Honestly, right. It I wasn't was... nothing like the cartoon. Oh no, it wasn't. Nothing well, like of course, the you have more time. I mean, you have a way more time to develop a story, and you got something that's episodes versus you got to <clears> tell it in an hour and thirty minutes. Like, well, I'm gonna tell you like this: if you go watch the, <laughs> if you go read the Todd McFarlane script versus the script that they put in the movie. That's a totally darker. <laughs> so what's the difference between what we got? Movie. So so what's the difference between what we got in the movie versus what he wrote? Because um, most of Let's what see, they got is canon. Language, they didn't. I mean, they didn't make Spawn sex, white. He's black. Sex language, bloodshed. Okay, we got bloodshed. <laughs> Are you saying it was darker than the HBO series? No, the movie was just as a- dark as the HBO series. The movie was supposed to be rated R, close to being rated X, the way Tar McFarlane wrote it. Well, we well, know. they wasn't gonna let that fly. We already know the stigma. NC seventeen, most NC seventeen shit don't see the light of day. They end up getting that. They have to roll. They have to end up rolling that shit back. There's a bunch of movies that initially had an NC seventeen rating. They was like, "Up, oh, you got to take that out. You want to make this? Want to make this go to the movies?" Because <laughs> think about it, the Spawn movie was PG thirteen. Tommy yeah. script was like rated R, and I'm talking about like a hard R. Okay, which I give it, which I give it that. Yeah, it should have been. I don't, I didn't remember the rating from back then, but yeah, if it wasn't a rated R, then it should have definitely been a rated R movie. So they could have. There's been some other stuff they could have. They could have picked from his script to make it, make it more of a rated R. I know the cartoon why, was rated R. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that was HBO. <laughs> <laughs> and see, that was the thing, Todd McFarlane. Like, that's why he's still trying to get his movie made. Like he says, I have my script, but with Spawn being uh, some t- like a Deadpool type character, right? You know, that's why they, you know, he looking for somebody to back his script. And with you right. got, you got Logan that's been out. You got Deadpool that's been out, and Deadpool two him to come out. He's like, it's time for the real Spawn live action movie to come out but yeah yeah like this time is now for him to do a script like that the time right now is to do it because it's but been what done. i say todd mcfarlane should do is get another spawn animated series take it to netflix or hulu build up a buzz let the numbers reflect that yo it's time for a movie and then a studio may back your movie because there's a buzz for it yeah that's true all right or even get the original cartoons and put them back on Netflix. Yeah, that's one way to that's do it. That's true. Also, 
Because it was mm-hmm. like, what, two, three seasons? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. It was only, yeah, like a couple of seasons. And this generation of kids haven't even seen it. They was too young to see it back then. Yeah, shoot, so. they know. shoot <laughs> as, as, as hype won. as the uh, exactly as hype as the Black Panther hype is with BT putting out their horrible version of Black Panther cartoon that they did, oh, Re- rehashing that. I mean, we could throw Spawn out there and be like, "Hey, see, there's another black superhero you know about." Exactly, <laughs> and just take off from there. Everybody, everybody can ride this Black Panther wave. I mean, it's still still going. Not to mention the most sold out blockbuster movie of all time. Over hey, the yo. Avengers, over <laughs> everything else, over freaking Avatar. Like, it's crazy right now. And hey, like, y'all, like, let's say Todd McFarlane was woke well before his time. <laughs> like, yeah. he was woke like, uh, like, uh, God, I'm like, I can't say this man's name. Uh, <laughs> what's Marvel's guy? Oh, guy name. Stanley. 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 Stan Lee. Stan Lee. I, oh, I, was <laughs> I was having a brain fart. You are kicked out of the podcast right now. <laughs> but uh, how dare Tom you? McFarlane, Tom McFarlane said that he made Terry black is because he got tired of seeing white superheroes. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Here's, well, a fun, here's a fun you thing think about it. You, you think about it. There's no so- shortage of Asian superheroes with anime. Well, mm-hmm. well yeah, but when they get translated <laughs> to American film, they get whitewashed. Let's just call oh, it. Let's okay. just, just call it Big what it time. is. Mm-hmm. Like they not only can do martial arts, people. They can do other stuff too, as well. <laughs> Just saying, was, you had to. Um, fun fact: I found out today, though. Speaking of, you know, black superheroes, Shazam was black initially when they initially drew it. Wow! Really? Black for a while. He was called um, Captain Lightning, is what it was, or something like that. That's what they uh, called. Wow! Yeah, what yeah. is it with black superheroes and lightning powers? Like, we can do more than lightning, you know. Like, <laughs> well, we, got, well, we got black lightning. We got his two daughters that can control, which are lightning and thunder, and then we also have static shock. They're all black. Static shock. <laughs> like, I'm for real. Like, though, is it black with... boat? Black also. Black boat is white. He's a white man oh, that can't okay. speak. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> he can't like, speak, but his, his voice will freaking destroy. <laughs> A lot of stuff if he does. So that's why. Wow. So I was wondering this because they they talking about you know um, introducing a lot of the the sidekicks and junior members of the DC universe. You know, like Robin and uh, Superboy stuff like that. Are they gonna make Aqualad black like he was in um, uh, Young Justice? Young Justice. Or are they gonna make Aqualad white? They, uh, well, I hope Aqualad is. Aww. He might be black. I mean, we, because you black know, Manta's black, black he, so I mean. <laughs> but I'm saying, you know, Aqualad's dad is supposed to be Black Mantis. Right. So. Right. I mean, yeah, then he would have to be black. Well, yeah, he's gonna have to be He would black, have to be black. But well, are they gonna stick with their script? They pro- they more they should. gonna try to it up. DC Aww. hasn't been DC has that's one thing I can't say about them. They've they've kind of stuck to stuck to the content for the most part. Or at least try to. Yeah, just sleep. Well, they fired <laughs> Zack Snyder, which he was I, trying to I hang, he was I trying hang, to exactly. stick to it. Oh they sn- they like kept that so hush hush. It's like, until oh, the I'm, truth he's came leaving out. because his daughter committed suicide. Been, no, uh, right. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That was such garbage. Oh, everything about that was so garbage. Oh my goodness. But I support the cause anyway. And bought the movie. And they had cute pins. Okay. Where well, we gonna the, go I on? I got the that. perfect Aqualad. I know that much. If they, if somebody, I had the perfect guy to play Aqualad, and he ain't doing a lot right now. But it would just be a resurgence for his career. What's the uh? What's the light skin dude from uh, uh it was on the show on UPN. Uh with Kyla Pratt. I can't think of the name of it. 
Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, he man. is he is Aqualad oh, yeah. all day. He in shape. Okay. Yeah. He got the he got the colored eyes. He perfect. Yeah. And, that, the um, light skinned dude who he had the up hair. blonde hair. And he, right. yeah, come on now. And he got blonde Dang, hair. Like, what like what else do you want? He's perfect. Yo, man, you talk uh oh, man, nigga, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. Is it Richard? I think it is Richard. Hold on. Yeah, Robert uh Robert Richard. That's his name. Yeah. Wow. Oh, like on one on one. Yep. Y'all remember right. one on one? <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah. Perfect Aqua Lad. Just perfect. Mm. And he still looked young. Yep. Yep. That would be he would be perfect for that. Yeah, so Oh man. Even um What's the the beetle guy that's in Young Justice? Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle. He's black. Or I think and Hispanic. Or is he Lat- okay, Latin? Latin, too. Hispanic. Yeah, Jaime. Yeah. Uh, Jaime, Hispanic. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go for the Hispanic people. We got, they there you right go. There. there you go, right there. Because exactly. they keep swaying up and down, freaking uh, Miles Morales is black. I'm like, the key word here is Morales. That is not a black last name. <laughs> I had a had a really in depth discussion with somebody. Well, he's a, well. Don't let me don't make me go back and talk about the West Indies and how this all came about and a ship and all this. <laughs> other. Don't don't make me do that. I want to have to do Black History with you. It's just it, Morales. He's Hispanic. It's, it's what it is. <laughs> you do have Black Hispanics. Like, that's, mm-hmm. No, that's what I'm saying. That's like I didn't want to get into the whole West Indies and how that worked. And I didn't want to do all that. It's too much work. <laughs> And also, they have a Captain Marvel that is also Hispanic. I mean, we we have a lot of different diversity superheroes, just that they don't get the shine that they deserve. But while they hating on Black Panther, saying, okay, when is ours coming out, blah, 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 blah. Just, we trying to get y'all on. We just trying to ride this wave a little bit, and then we gonna <laughs> hook y'all up. I got some. I got some. I got uh, two Pakistani homeboys that I work with, and they was like, "Man, where, where are superhero?" I'm like, "Man, y'all got Miss Marvel, the other version, the one that's like exactly. Miss Fantastic." Like, so, man, I showed them the pictures. I was like, "Man, we don't want her." <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like, really? Hey y'all. Hey y'all. I gotta drop out the call, but uh-huh. uh, yeah. hey, you hear me? Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. I think uh-huh. my call. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. But I'm dropping out, y'all. I gotta go take care of something. Okay. okay. Yeah, we about to we about to wrap right. this bonus episode. So. Yep. <laughs> All right, man. So we gonna wrap this bonus episode of Nerd Flow. What do you guys think about the whole Donald Glover Deadpool animated series thing? Do y'all think that you know? Does anybody know anything other than more than what we know about it? As far as with Marvel not Marvel TV not wanting to go forward with the series or. I mean, I know they're still keeping stuff like Legion around and stuff like that, so it's not like they're backing out of TV altogether. So, uh, want to hear your thoughts? So, please make sure you guys comment in all the respective platforms you'll be hearing this on, uh, which is, you know, of course, iTunes, Google Play, all that good stuff. And uh, hey, let us know. All right, guys. All right. All right. <laughs> Hello. Ooh.